Alrighty, I had a question from somebody wondering what it is that I'm eating and that they would like to know um, what my kind of day, my food consists of. So, I'm actually in the middle of cooking right now. I like to do a bit of food prep um, at least once a week because it makes um, getting meals just so much easier. So, if I can be tricky, I might be able to turn the camera around so you can have a look. Let me see if I can do that here. Yeah, I'm not sure I can. Anyway, let's have a look, see if we can. Ah, uh, okay. So what I've got there in that pot, that's a little bit dodgy, but anyway. I'm just lightly sautéing some zucchinis and a little bit of mushroom, salt and pepper, tiny little bit of butter and some garlic. And I am going to add, <gasps> very exciting, chorizo sausage in just one sausage for a whole frittata. So that will be one sausage shared over about six breakfasts. So it's not very much. And um, then I'll add lots of eggs and a little bit of sour cream, put it in the oven, cook it, and it's great. So I'll talk to you again in just a sec when I'm on to the next step. Alrighty, I just wanna show you the chorizo sausage now. I'm gonna to have to do this silly camera thing like I did again. I think, yeah, it's hard for me to see. I'm not doing it properly. And there we go, <laughs> pepper ray. All right, so I've just cut them, the chorizo, one chorizo sausage in half, and then just made it into thin slices. And this little dollop here that you can see next to it is a bit of chutney, because I'm a very naughty lady, and it's only one dollop over six breakfasts. So I don't mind, I know what's in there, I count the energy, and I just, I wanna have a great breakfast. So it helps me not to overdo things the rest of the day. And if I feel like I'm really having a treat when I'm eating something, I, I'm much less likely to be seeking um, pleasures in other food, I guess. So um, I'm just gonna cook this. I'm gonna, um, I actually like these a little bit crispy. So I'm gonna cook these for a little bit longer than I, I cook the veggies. So um, small break, but for you, I'll be back in just a sec. Okay, as you can see, I have got my little bits of trays on top. I've put in two tablespoons of light sour cream and in there is one dozen eggs and underneath is just all my veggies so I'm just going to continue to mix that up. I actually you could um, substitute the sour cream for a light evaporated milk or you could just use some normal milk. Um, it's really up to you you don't have to put it in at all. Now sorry I lost my spot. Um, I'm not very pro at this am I? Okay so, pretty much you can use whatever vegetables you like. Um, some people might use a bit of cream or some people might put a bit of cheese in. I try um, not to put too much cheese in because it just kind of starts to get up there because I use whole eggs. Whereas some people might use a few whole eggs and then maybe a cup of egg whites, whereas I try to have um, keep all the eggs together because by the time um, I've divided it, it's really only two eggs a breakfast, which is fine by me. All right, now, all mixed together, easy as that, doesn't matter really what you put in it. There's lots of different varieties, and then I'm just gonna put it in a pan and bake it. So the next time you're gonna see this beautiful mixture, it's gonna be all cooked, and um, you know, like one I prepared earlier, just like in today. All right, here we go. Alrighty, while that is in the oven cooking, I wanted to show you my food prep for the week. So basically what I've got is, you know, my cauliflower and broccoli, lots of broccoli, um, spring onions, capsicums, just salad things, things that I might use for a stir fry or whatever. And if I go back or go around, you can see that a lot of those containers just clip together. So one just goes on top of the other. They clip together, they're all airtight. And so this saves me heaps of time during the week. And really, it's probably taken me 15 minutes. So it's well worth your time. And I've just been doing that while um, the frittata is cooking in the oven. And um, although I don't always get time to do this, I'm certainly not um, up to doing it every, every week or every time I should. But um, it is a great ideal to aim for. And whenever I do this, um, I always have a much better week nutritionally. So it's a good tip for you as well. All right, so I'm just checking to see if it's ready and you can see how it's wobbling still in the middle. So that means it's not quite cooked yet. It's been in for probably about 40 minutes, so maybe about another 10 minutes and we'll be ready. But that's 
you can either put something, you know, poke something in the middle, but usually if you just give the tray a bit of a wobble with a glove on, you'll, um, you'll be able to see whether it's ready or not. So here we are, the finished product. Now I will make six meals out of that and um, for breakfast I'll just have it by itself. Maybe if I'm super hungry I might have a bit of toast with it um, or often I'll come home and I'll have it for lunch as well with a salad. And while that has been cooking for the last 10 minutes, because I did all that food prep coming over here, I've just got a little vegetable stir fry going on over here and I started to cook some mince so I'll make a savoury mince for my dinner. What else have I eaten today? I had a banana for a snack and I had some leftover um, soup for lunch. So that's me. Let me just turn the camera around. So that's me. That's what I'm eating today. <laughs> Hope that answered your question. Bye.